is the one a find the true value find the value of x in the expression 3 to the power 2x plus 1 all over 3 to the power 3x minus 4 times 3 to the power 6 minus 7x equal 27 raised to the power x now we find a common base that we can express all the numbers to a certain index and how do you get that base is the highest common factor of 3 and 27 so the highest common factor of 3 and 27 is 3 so we express all the bases to all the numbers to a base 3 to a certain index so all these ones are already in base 3 so we express this as, in, as a base 3 number so we have 3 3 raised to the power 2x plus 1 all over 3 to the power 3x minus 4 times 3 to the power 6 minus 7x is equal to 3 to the power 3 will give us 27 and there's already an x over there so we are applying the loss of indices so this will give us 3 to the power 2x plus 1 all over now the common base are multiplying so we add the exponent so the loss of indices for you 3x minus 4 plus 6 minus 7x is equal to 3 to the power 3x so this will imply that we have 3 to the power 2x plus 1 all over 3 to the power 3x 3x minus 7x will give us negative 4x so negative 4x then we have neg negative 4 plus positive 6 will give us positive 2 is equal to 3 to the power 3x now we further simplify this time the bases are dividing so we subtract the exponents so 3 to the power 2x plus 1 then we subtract the exponent minus negative 4x so negative 4x plus 2 is equal to 3 to the power 3x so now what do we do next is to simplify to get 3 to the power 2x minus 4x will give us negative 2x minus minus 4x will give us positive 6x so positive 6x then 1 minus 2 will give us negative 1 is equal to 3 to the power 3x so we have 3 to the power 6x minus 1 equal 3 to the power 3x so the next thing we do is to equate the basis since the bases are the same, we equate the exponents. So we get 6x minus 1 is equal to 3x. So this will give us 6x minus 3x is equal to 1. So we get 3x to be equal to 1. 
dividing through by 3, we obtain x to be equal to 1 over 3. Then the B aspect, without using tables or calculator, simplify 1 over 3 log 1 over 3 log 1, 2, 5 over 8. Then minus two log two over five plus log eighty log eighty over one two five. Now we use this law of logarithm, which says that if you have a number multiplying a logarithm, let's say logarithm base a of m, and the same as log of a m to the power n. We are going to apply this. So this is now our n, so we obtain. This will now be equal to this whole thing will now be equal to log log one two five over eight to the power one over three minus log the same thing applies over here two over five all to the power two plus log 80 of 80 over 125. Now this will be equal to. Now we know that this a denominator of 3. This fraction is having a denominator of 3. So we express this to a power 3. So this will be equal to log 5 to the power 3 over 2 to the power 3 all to the power 1 over 3 then minus we apply the law of indices again this will multiply this to give us we, we share the exponent for them to get 2 exponent 2 over 5 exponent 2 plus log 80 over 1 2 5 So this will give us log 5 over 2 to the power 3 times, there's a 1 over 3 over there, then minus log 4 over 25, then plus log 80, log 80 over 1, 2, 5. So this will get cancel this now. I left with one over there. So we have we have log five over two minus log four over twenty five plus log eighty log eighty over 125. So this will be equal to log 5 over 2 divided by 4 over 25. Then plus log 80 over 125. So this is the same as log 5 over 2. Let's simplify this times twenty five over 4.
plus this logarithm 80 over 125 so this will give us log 125 over 8 that plus plus log plus log 80 over 125 now this will give us log 125 over 8 times log times 80 over 125 so this will cancel this then 8 will go into this 10 times so we are left with log 10 but we know that we are solving base 10 so log, log of the base will give us 1 